this is Gail from Bernina of Naperville, and it's been a long week here, and John, who you met before, our head technician, he, um, you know, we always like talk about like some of the things that we see a lot and everything, and and then some of the questions come in is, how can you clean your machine? What can you use to clean your machine? But I want to tell you the thing that you don't want to do. So we have a machine here in for service. It's a it's a new it's in the line still um but it doesn't matter what model it is because they they all are going to have the same situation so we're going to talk you through some little things that we found on this machine and why this might happen all right so take it away john all right so this machine came in because there was a bind and every now and then you get a loud click okay which you can hear every now and then. Not as loud as it should be because the cases are off. And I would have assumed it came from here. You would assume, but with the cases on, noise travels and it echoes, and you don't know exactly where it's coming from until the cases are off. Okay. So once I had the cases off, I was looking around, and I did a test. I took the belt off from the motor to the hand wheel, and I realized that everything was free. So I knew it had to be something with the motor. So then I looked at the motor and that's when I realized there's a, a wad of lint in the grooves. So that interferes with the teeth of the belt. And does it travel like, you know, I am guilty of putting thread right here on like a spool pin or whatever. Is it traveling through some hole down this direction? Um, the only hole at the top would be from the bobbin winder. But since it is lent, it could be coming from anywhere in the machine. Um, if you've used compressed air to clear out your hook area, that could actually push it further into the machine as opposed to pulling it out. Because, you know, off camera, John explained to me that there are like little vents in the plastic. Correct. Right so, here that would line up to this area. That's correct. But it blows out, so that's probably not going to be the cause. So stuff is getting here because it gets, excuse the camera here, blown from this direction. And that would be potentially trying to clean up with compressed air. Correct. So please, we sometimes will use compressed air on the machine, but that's after you can see the skeleton is exposed here and everything. But when your covers are still on your machine and it's tempting to get all of that fuzz out of here, don't use the compressed don't air because then it's going to go into the motor and places where it's harder later to, to clean it out. So, so if, if we do have a fuzzy wuzzy machine, what do, we, what do you recommend that we do in this area to, to get the fuzz out ourselves? Since, since the covers will still be on, I would recommend using a vacuum cleaner with a small attachment that can get into the little nooks and crannies of the hook area. And if it's dirtier than, than what you can get, a COA is recommended. And that's a clean oil and adjust by your local Bernina dealer. So, okay, so John has like this funny little hair dryer that he runs all the time. And it sounds, I, I don't know, it has this weird sound. And I always think he's back here like washing his teeth or something. But <laughs> this <laughs> this is the vacuum cleaner that he's using. And this is like an Amazon purchase. Yep, can be found on um, Amazon. I'm going to show you, I'm going to have a link in this video for this. And we do not sell these. We're not getting endorsed <laughs> by this company or anything. But But this is the brand right here. And uh, this is the, uh, the, mach the the vacuum cleaner. And this is like a little attachment that he's using, but there's also, you know, like a little bottleneck attachment and things like that. And something like this would be easy for us to use at home on our machine. So, you know, back in the day we sold a micro vacuum cleaner attachment, but the problem is that thing is not really connecting on a modern vacuum cleaner. So just pick up a little something like this. It, it can it'd be good for cleaning your computer keyboard and things yep. like that too. Absolutely. Right, so that's it for our tech tip today. So don't forget if you wanna see more videos just like this one, go ahead and check out our Bernina of Naperville YouTube channel. It's easy. It's youtube.com slash Bernina of Naperville and there, you can like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.